family called Binet. Rafael has developed a mobile ad hoc network, software defined radio, that is a full IP radio, having several uh, form factors in this family. All are carrying all kind of waveforms with those capabilities that are demonstrated here. From capabilities point of view, what we are demonstrating here, we are demonstrating cars that are moving outside the area. They are transmitting now videos in one device that is here connected to the antenna outside. We are simultaneously receive the both videos from the two. Now we will demonstrate on top of the video a voice communication. We see here uh, getting a voice communication, asking him to come outside of the vehicle and to wave his hands to, uh, to say hello. This communication is voice communication on top of video that is transmitted by his car. Here we see the bitrate that it is uh, generated by those applications. Of course, we have it also with other applications. Here we see the real uh, radios in different form factors. We see the handheld, we see the airborne version, we see the man pack. This is the man pack and this is how it is mounted in a vehicle with two power amplifiers. And this is the vehicular one for ground. So these are the form factors. What we see here is a uh, some snapshot from demonstration that carried voice data and video on the move in a large area. These were the cars to spread out in a very typical combined area, both of urban, dense urban. This was under some operational scenario that represents some scenario. This was the command post. These are the guests that are witnessing and the brief about the area. The area is 30 by 60 kilometer. Here we see it. These are some signs to see each node that is operating well. And afterwards, there are also a table of connectivity that you can show here. This is example of carrying ultra high capacity by receiving in one device in the command post, six video streams simultaneously. Here we see a demonstration of voice over IP, how I control a remote radio over the tactical manet network. Here we see a closure of a sensor to shooter, real-time application. All these applications are re running together. These are the performance of the radio. We see here the bitrate, we see here the connectivity. Another demonstration was done in Europe under snow condition, serving operational scenario by the foreign military. And this is in their military zone, under their scenario. And we see here again, how we serve a tactical network with the applications of videos, voice, and we will see here an example, for example, how they catch a suspect. They catch a suspect here, it is of course exercise. They take a photograph and they transfer his picture over the tactical network to the Interpol, like in FTP, like you are doing in the internet at the office, and, and different streams of video. This was done in another place in Europe. Okay. So these are two examples of field demonstration, how this uh, technology is available and what it brings from application point of view and capabilities to tactical network without any infrastructure and with very much reliability 
and uh, continuous connectivity between all nodes. So those capabilities are achieved by patented technology called multi-channel reception. Rafael has developed these capabilities based on this that such capabilities currently are not available in the tactical communication manet networks. They are all carrying the same capabilities, they are all fielded, they are all demonstrated and some of them are already operating in customers worldwide. This is exactly what a modern digitized army needs and we were not aware that this is available and proved and fielded.